used to be your door Writing songs like this, giving them all to you To you, to you I remember every single time you didn't have my back We even know all my eyes shed and then I regret Writing songs like this, giving them all to you so I just got to my hotel. I've literally never been in a hotel like this before. It's kind of like, they said it was like a bungalow setup. On the inside, it kind of has like your typical bed, your bathroom, your little desk, but the ceilings are just stupid high. And what makes it unique is that when you open the door, you're basically outside. I thought that was pretty cool. But the reason I'm in Los Angeles right now, I've been here like quite a few times recently. And this time around, it's for a photo shoot with Gymshark with Mr. Chris Bumstead. We're gonna be shooting, I believe, the day after tomorrow is going to be for the new legacy line which is i think some of this stuff so that's going to be pretty cool and right now i'm pretty much going to meet up with him we're going to get some food because i'm starving i haven't eaten since like i really don't even remember the last time i've eaten I'd... so i'm here with my boyfriend chris bumstead date night in la so we're going to this uh steakhouse that he recommended he literally said like this is the supreme fucking location to go to if you're in la if it doesn't lead up to expectations. Building spot. way more hype than I than I put out there. I said it might be good because my Uber driver suggested it and David asked me on a date so you know he buy it. Mm. Oh wait I just for people for those of you on my channel who may not know Chris Bumstead is virtually men's physique no not men's physique uh, <laughs> Whoa, the cla whoa, whoa, whoa. Cla classic physique Olympia champion. He's literally, he's like, ah! he's like that close. He's second place. Not quite there yet, though. Are you going to be Not there? Do you we'll have see. plans? I have plans for it, I do. Mm. I don't know when, but it'll happen. <laughs> it is bright today. Not anymore. I'm in the shade. 9 a.m. Woke up. Let's go get some breakfast. What do champions eat for breakfast? Ketchup and onions. Is this gonna win you the fucking Olympia? Ketchup and onions? They get fucking juicy. Just ketchup, onion, and a banana. Do you even get eggs? No. This is what second plates guess right here. Some fucking brown sugar, some washed out oatmeal, eggs, and like oh, these synthetic oatmeal. sausage patties. I don't know. I really don't know. Soup we'll find out. First, I need you to explain to me again. These synthetic powdered just eggs are made like. So 90% of hotels, what people don't know, is they don't have just eggs that they have put into a big bowl and mash it up. They literally buy like a, I don't know what that word is, but like like when astronauts eat like space <laughs> in, in space, but it's like powdered egg. And you literally just add water to it and like milk and butter and stuff and just like mix it up. And then they add expired pancake batter to it. I mean, like I hop, I hop pancake batter into their omelet so that it's so fluffy and tastes so good. And that's why they're like, a two egg omelet is like 1500 calories. So we're essentially taking like three years off our life just eating that? Approximately. I've decided to not eat these eggs. This oatmeal is alright, but I just don't want to fucking eat it. Just ate the fruit, the sausage patties, and sebum, he just fucking ate everything. Like a fucking rhinoceros. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> did I do it? Nope. That doesn't count? That's doesn't what you count. did. No, it's gotta be face down. What? It's gotta be face down. It's gotta be face down. <laughs> the fucking knife. <laughs> I mean, your thumbs. <laughs> no. It's close. No, I'll do it super slow. Just put it like this. You just start here. I'll do it so slow. You take it. And you rotate it down. And one done fast. Looks like that. Just real slow. Just spin it around. Take it for a ride, big man. Come on. <laughs> Give it a spin. I have no hand-eye coordination for the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> holy shit! You know, no one's ever fucking gotten that without me having to literally walk really? through it like baby steps. Imagine. We're gonna have to step it up a notch. I'm gonna need a pack of cards. Alright, so, because of that fucking zero out of ten breakfast, we're gonna stop by Whole Foods, get some real nutritional Whole Food. Dude, this apple is, tastes like shit. This is such a horrible apple. I'm like, give you a good apple after breakfast. I'm literally you. gonna put this in a fake plant and just like hopefully bring some life to it. I want a poker face, all right? What are you giving me? This is great for your immune system. I want you to keep a James Bond straight fucking alpha face, right? Don't even crack a smirk or anything. I'm fucking bad at it. Have you, do you already take it? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it again if you want me to. 
Do I put it on my tongue or just anywhere? You gotta swoosh it around your mouth, kill all the bacteria. Bullshit! I swallow it, right? You, you swallow, but not right away. Let let it marinate for a second. Let it sit there. Why? Well, just just like experience. <laughs> Swoosh it, swoosh it. Delicious. Yeah? <laughs> oh <my laughs> How delicious God. is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it that bad? Oh my fuck. It's like spicy. I take this shit recreationally. Yeah, but we're not gonna get AIDS or anything now, or any weird LA bacteria and get stuff. Rid of AIDS? Like, yeah, so you get rid of AIDS. Imagine Trump's in Seattle. Okay, we're in the hospital surge, and it's overwhelming our immigration system. I guess we're crying out with oregano. <laughs> and my eyes are burning. Fuck. That shit used to be like half the size of that. Now it's like it's a fourth. Beef. It's just God. chunky. Spectacular, thank you. But we're at the iconic Whole Foods right now in Venice. Got a bunch of fucking clean palm tree action everywhere. You got a bunch of tables outside. There's a whole court in there with a bunch of organic shit that I'll show you. We're gonna get that and we're gonna eat out here. Mmm, look at this. Oh God. There's one Whole Foods at my house. Well, like by my house, it's an hour away. And it's a very sad situation. I might move to LA literally just for all this fucking healthy shit. Let me just describe the situation, right? Chris is just sitting out here like, he has a good understanding of the surroundings around him. He knows he's in Los Angeles, that gravity still works how it's supposed to. He's eating a salad, he's on his phone talking to his friends. Everything's great, like, you have a conceptualization of reality right now that's about to be fucking shattered into a million little pieces directly in front of you, right? Now, I don't want you to be traumatized, I don't want you to scream, I don't want to make any loud, profound noises. Just, just experience it. Having a difficult spectator, everyone. I just want to <laughs> let you know. You want me to sign it? Yeah, I want you to sign it. He needs to take the deck, examine it, shuffle it. He can fucking shuffle it, right? Right here, let me see it. Here, hold the camera. Grab the camera. You see his card right here? It's a seven of spades. It's been signed with Mr. Bumstead's beautiful little signature. Now, I'm gonna need your shaker cup. So here, let's, <laughs> let's just. Or you know what? Do you have your wallet on you? Beautiful alligator skin wallet. Chris has no issue killing alligators and like fucking morally posturing eating his clean salad right here. But it's cool. We're gonna open this wallet up. I'm gonna take the seven of spades and I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Then I'm gonna take this little pouch in here which is custom made just to take this card. Close it up. And I'm gonna put it with a Gucci wallet. Put the shaker bottle. I want you to do me the honors of uncapping that Sharpie right there. Be a gentleman and cap that for me, please. So we have an Ace of Hearts with a DL, right? I'm gonna take that Ace. Remove the camera, right? I'd like you to open up your wallet and take a peep. <laughs> 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 
same card? Yeah, it was the same the fucking card. card. What do you mean? Yeah, it was I put my DL there. Are you paying attention? I was. But I kind of forgot it. I'm overwhelmed, okay? I don't like magic. Mm. Me. Don't, don't, don't be checking that deck out I'll there, Chris. Check the deck, eh? What if I found another Ace of Hearts with a DL on it? You could, but you won't because it's fucking magic and Harry Potter doesn't slip up like that. Daniel Radcliffe taught me himself. All magic aside, I got this just fucking just epic salad. Last time I was in LA, I went to Whole Foods a few times and just getting these just nutritionally clusterfuck dense salads just like just, just fills up my soul with just happiness and peace. Then you have Mr. Bumstead with his happiness and peace right there, the skeptic, trying to contemplate how I do all my magic, trying to figure me out. I would try to figure out the trick. Damn. Hater. He's, he's, a fucking, hater. he's a fucking hater. We're just gonna give an update to everyone what just happened. Can you can you please give a quick narrative, a quick summary of everything that's happened up to this point? They told me to pick a number. I picked number seven. He said grab my wrist. Alright. I want you to squeeze it real tight, right? I want you to take your other hand and also squeeze my wrist tight, both of them. Like that? I want you to close your eyes. And I want close your eyes. <laughs> I want you to visualize the number seven, not from any numerical perspective, but how it looks, just the shape of it, the line, and then the 45 degree debatable line that just slashes at the side. That's like 1.7 times the size of the first line. And just really visualize and think red, just bloody, bloody red. Now squeeze hard. Visualize seven, 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 seven. seven. Let go. Let go. You see that, Mr. Bumstead? I do. Is there even a like line that way? <laughs> it's like the proper old school seven. Are you gonna be like flat and small in the gym today? Or are you gonna be like big and impressive and like intimidate Callum and Moger and all like the fucking cool kids in the gold gym? Flat, that's... super small, very skinny, a little bit chubby, not yeah. muscular. We they but, could be throwing at me. That could be mitigated by like a proper pre-workout. What do you need? What can you take today to look bigger than Frank Zane in his prime? What? You gotta go spend like an hour in the salt ocean, salt water, <laughs> just let it seep into your pores so you get that sodium. Drink water with salt in it. Why don't we, why don't we just, just get two cups of coffee? And sodium. Isn't that gonna dry you out though? I've been like a salt water pool. I'm drinking water. Like, <laughs> I don't think it really works like that much. You don't got a lot of belief, Chris. I have no belief you, in you, any bullshit. You, you need more faith. Mm -mm. You need more faith. I'm a simple man. What I know works. That's it. Mm, that's a form of belief. Fair enough. <laughs> what is um, what is this bulletproof coffee place? Everyone should know what bulletproof is. I don't know how you do it. Wait, everyone knows but me. You're saying? Yeah. So trendy lately. So for me and like the three other people watching this video that don't know what it is, can you oh, explain two it? Two other people. Two other people. So they put this like, brain octane, what they call it, like MCT oils with like medium chain triglycerides into your coffee and some butter as well, I believe they put ghee butter or something into it. Just some healthy fats and high caffeine just to kind of keep your brain focused and give you some energy. Hmm. That's very interesting. We're gonna we're gonna give this a review. Hmm. It's pretty it's like black but has like butter and weird shit in here it tastes pretty good. I don't think it's black. <laughs> Fuck. You see that? What, what if it's all like the butter and the medium chain triglycerides? I like? my coffee every day at home and it's black. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, luckily that bulletproof coffee thing, shop thingy thing, bulletproof something, it's like walking distance from gold. Here we are, the most iconic gym on the planet. We're gonna go inside. What do we wanna hit today? What do we wanna play around with? Calves. Some calves? Yeah. Don't Whoa. show them. Whoa. Don't Whoa, don't look down there. No, we're not hitting some calves. We're gonna hit some shoulders and we're gonna go all out on the seated shoulder press. Now see, there. Chris, he has this huge issue where back where he trains at home in Ottawa, whatever fucking gym he goes to, they don't have dumbbells above 100 so he has to stick with these light ass hundreds he just bangs them out for 20 and he's not even exhausted and it's kind of boring he's on his phone with his third hand like while he's on there it's just really shitty and stuff but now we're in golds and they clearly have dumbbells that go over 100 so we're gonna push him to the limit and see what he can press around i'm not ready for this but 200s for i just five? got called out so 200 they don't have 200s here thank god they don't i think oh. it only looked like 140 maybe
guys, so we just secured a bench over here. Steve is all snapped up and shit. He's got to warm up his shoulders, do some weird rotator cuff exercises. Luckily for me, despite all my back injuries and stuff like that, shoulders is the one part that's pretty much always been healthy for me. I'm good to go. After his warm up, we're about to slap some heavy shit around. All right, little man, do your warm ups. Do your little fucking five pound. I'm literally. All we need to do is some pull ups to just prime my last, and I'm good. Like what? Like, depend if you want sushi later. I've been this whole time. I got all your secrets on tape. You got a Coke bowl post workout. And we're back. The same old cheesecake that we were at yesterday. I'm just gonna get steak, an insane amount of rice, some sweet potato fries, and Chris is probably gonna get the same shit. So, like, realistically, like, what do you think the chances of you like winning next year or like this year? This year? Yeah. It depends how the prep goes. And if I stay healthy, like it, that bullshit didn't happen like last so you, year. So you've done the Olympia twice, came second twice, the same person won both times, but yeah. last year you got really sick with an autoimmune disease and that kind of fucked like how premium you could have came in on stage? Oh yeah, because four weeks out I was like fucked in the hospital and like holding on to like 15 pounds of water. One thing that like differentiates you, like two things that differentiates you between pretty much everyone else in the classic physique stage is one, you're like drastically younger than everyone else, like that who came in first, you said he's like fucking 39 or some shit like he's old like 38 or 39 yeah damn he's uh he's an old buck and two what differentiates you is that like you don't really like give a fuck in the sense that you don't have this crazy like hyper bodybuilding ego like everyone else you kind of just like giggle it off kind of just do it for fun like it, everyone's it, like i have like whatever i put my effort into i'm gonna put my all and fucking mm -hmm. i'm only gonna do something to try to win it but it wasn't like i grew up like reading bodybuilding magazines with posters <laughs> on my walls like all these guys like i didn't even know who any bodybuilders until i was like 19. huh like so remember you were saying like how like right now like in the fitness world there's like this division between like the people that compete and kind of like everyone else maybe like doing social media and stuff and like there's like this crazy division yeah. like big ego like on both sides and you're just kind of like like this is fucking ridiculous right. <laughs> like just right in the middle like yeah. for some reason bodybuilders people compete have this like elite 
mindset that they're like better. Oh yeah. Because they push themselves a little harder and do a little more bullshit, you know? And then on the other end, the fitness people feel more adequate because they make more money. If you just do like bodybuilding exclusively, there's literally no money there. You have to pay to get your pro card. It's just like, literally, yeah. it's just a financially dry situation. It's not a good. So like, do you think you're gonna bring like your best package to the stage this year if you have like no health complications or anything like that? I'd say so, yeah. I can't see why not. I have never not improved in bodybuilding until last year. And you've done nine shows? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you take creatine? No. All right, so we're stopping at CVS because my hair is all like stringy and off and I couldn't bring the shampoo with me on the plane or my conditioner. Chris was telling me just like, hey, just like don't wash your hair for like an entire year. I did that. Or something like that. I used to have a man bun, believe it or not, back in the day. Disgusting man bun. I did not have great hair. And I went literally, I think, maybe nine or ten months without shampooing or conditioning it, nothing. It never got really greasy. Maybe that's just genetically lucky for me. But after like two months, it just started to like clean itself with water. My natural oil just came out and it would just wash out and it was just always clean, soft. Never once smelled at all. It's perfect. Hmm. Like I used to do that too when I was like a little younger. I was just <laughs> like, like when I was like six and shit. I was like splash myself with some water. But yeah, we got to shoot tomorrow, and I got to shave all this shit over here. Got to clean this up. So yeah, we can get some fucking conditioner. I just only slept like, give or take, one and a half to, and the absolute best case scenario. Did I say one and a half? Say half an hour to one and a half hours last night. That's as much as I slept. Obviously feel pretty tired right now. About to roll up to my hotel, get my camera equipment, drones, some stuff like that. Then go to Seabum's room and then we're gonna take an Uber to the shoot. I don't really know much about it. Like the, in the itinerary it says that it's it's pretty long. It's probably going to be videos and pictures. It's for the new Gymshark Legacy line, which is like kind of this old school logo, which is personally some of my favorite stuff that Gymshark makes. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. I'm like a fraction of the size of Seabum, but hopefully I could, you know, talk to the cameraman, make some barrel distortions, and make a few agreements and stuff, and then we can make something work. And, uh, whoa, what's going on here? Look at you all, well rested, got some glycogen going, like, well recovered, cortisol levels at zero, like, good for you. So Chris did some fucking witchcraft, got these four eggs, just out of nowhere, and I'm eating this. Just carb loading, sodium, trans fats. Trans? You think she has trans fats? In your bacon? You think so? Are you serious? Uh, is it because it's shit bacon or all bacon? No, it's because it's shit bacon, right? It's probably just car processed pork, deep fried 20 times. This shit doesn't have trans fat, right? Mate. Are you fucking me right now? I don't know what you 
Come on. Tell me Santa Claus is real. This is healthy. Like. Okay, yeah, you're right. The tooth fairy is going to come to you tonight. I just counteract all this trans fats and this horrible stuff I just ate at that virtually space food artificial hotel room breakfast. I got my whole food salad from yesterday. Still incomplete. I'm going to complete it. I'm going to feel holy and wonderful. Look at this big ice truck. Just got all his bags. <laughs> like, he's a little courtesy wave. Like, his fucking matching socks, different other pair of socks. Just fat free mass what index of like 30. Like yeah, I'm just, I'm just a premium ass human. Like, yeah, that's how it is. Hot water, decaf, big regular for big ice truck. And then we have small regular for me. Chris. David. Fuck. Hey, you want a fucking deadlift? You trying to deadlift? You trying to deadlift? I'm deadlifted in six months. Yeah, me neither. I deadlift like 275. What about you? I can deadlift 405. Ha 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 Damn. I feel very emasculated. Yeah, I feel like your, your estrogen just increasing by the minute. Test is going down. Jesus. lost 50 pounds. Fuck. You look emaciated, you all right? <laughs> you know, don't, don't get dizzy now. Just drink that coffee. Yo, what do you think about this gym? Apparently they filmed Creed in here. It's not even a real gym, it's like. I Sylvester Stallone in the corner. He did? I thought it was like Arnold. It was Sylvester? They were both there, they were chatting. Oh, uh, they, uh, they were chatting and stuff. But yeah, they're gone now, but this is basically global fitness they got like lighting and shit like up top like this isn't a jam it's like specifically made for like, filming i don't know filming shit yeah. what's up taking over the jordan brand 5xl everything <laughs> just have like your cap like joint showing and that's it this look at this whoa <laughs> Yeah, have you ever like done? Have you ever done like a sport? Have you ever been in like a locker room before? A sport? Yeah, you seem like you have a complex. Snack, some green leafy lettuce looking action, some white rice with the coloring of yellow, and some fish on a stick. What are you eating, Mr. Seabomb? got fish on a stick. Salmon? Yeah, salmon. I got the exact same thing, but garlic, hummus, and chicken on a stick. Mr. Nikon. My chicken is not on a stick. It's already chopped up, easy to eat. <laughs> mm. yeah. So, what's like one thing that you could say to everyone watching to get people to switch from Canon to Nikon? What would it be? Uh, black lenses are cooler than white lenses, so, yeah. It's reasonable. It's reasonable. I'll consider it.
shoot. It's like 340, we're supposed to end at 5, so we got done earlier. Nice, healthy little uh, pre workout snack. Why do you eat like that? <laughs> Oh my god, you like don't even fit in the camera. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh god. Ooh, brutal. Wait, wait. You have a damn good chance. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Three, two, one, 
go. <laughs> Oh, I have a little bit. Woo! I feel accomplished. 